Hi, I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at replacing filters in the Gas Alert Max XC2 by BW Technologies Honeywell. Uh, a few things to keep in mind here, and I'll go over them. There's a few ways you can screw the monitor up, so we just want to make sure we're real careful while we do this. If you have trouble, if you'd rather send your unit into us, we can do the repair for you. But today, I'll show you how to do it yourself. So first things first, unscrew this here. Inlet adapter. And we're going to unscrew this, and then the way you remove it is by rocking it forward and then pulling it straight out that way, just like that. So now you'll notice we have two different types of filters here. We have this is the paper filter, and this is the ceramic disc filter. So this is particulate, and this is your water stop. So first things first, we can replace this one here. Just go ahead and take it out. And then we'll grab our new filter. So you can see this is the thicker ceramic disc filter. This goes into the inlet adapter like that. You just push it right in and put that to the side. And this one's a little bit more difficult to get out. If you have a flathead screwdriver handy, it'll help. But you can, you can just use your fingernail. Just be very careful. And we'll put that to the side. Now, when we do that, we want to make very, very sure that there's no damage in here. So you want to make sure that this lip all around here is intact. You want to make sure that this lip over here is intact. You can see there's a little bit here where this is starting to come up. And this is because this filter has been changed a bunch of times and maybe wasn't changed uh, smoothly and carefully once or twice. So we're going to take our paper filter. You can see it's the thin paper filter and put that in just so that it rests inside that lip. And if it's a little off position, just kind of get it down nice and gently. And now this is the important step. We're gonna take the inlet adapter and it's got this hook here. We're gonna put the hook into the well here and just get that in first and make sure that you're not pushing down. What you don't want is some like sideways pressure and then you go down or like over here and then you go down. That's how you end up with a leak due to this being damaged. And if this is damaged in any way, shape or form, you're gonna fail your block test when the pump starts up and it, cause you're gonna be sucking in air instead of pulling it through your adapter. So put that into the well and then we're gonna very, very gently, I'm putting pressure this way on it. Very, very gently just make sure it just seats down in there. You wanna make sure you're not catching anything up on this side. And so once you got that in, screw the screw in the back on. And you don't have to go overly tight with it, just tighten up. Sometimes we'll see people send units in and they've stripped strip this screw. Uh, and what they're trying to do is lock down their filter because they're having a leak over here. Um, they're just not certain what's going on. So now you've got your filter replaced. All you need to do is turn your unit on, put it through the pump block check at the beginning. You know, all you have to do is put your finger over it and it should quickly block the pump. If it doesn't, you're still having troubles. You can always send the unit in to us or you can call us for uh, technical support. Our phone number is 734-956-0539. And you can reach us on the web at idealcalibrations.com. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe out there.